And I'm starting in the new film OGF. Actually, uh, na acting career or chance destiny uh, aim plan che ledu nein uh, anko ledu la nein actor out um, When I was growing up, I never ever imagined to be an actress. To be honest, I think uh, childhood low I wanted to be an architect. Dance arvata I wanted to be a fashion designer. After that, I wanted to be a travel log host. Only then uh, filmmaking came into my life when I reached my post graduation. And then also I thought I'll become a, a, or a, um, like an assistant director and I actually settled in Bombay and I was applying for jobs with Dharma Productions and all that. I thought next 10, 15 years I'll you know, uh, be like that. But uh, sheer luck, destiny, fate, uh, acting came into my life. I, uh, uh, and, to, and from all the industries, the Telugu industry, nunchi naaku, uh, the opportunity came. Uh, to be honest, my first debut film was with my uh, wonderful director, Sai Kiran Adivi sir, with Kerinta. And our film, in, uh, when I did it, it was a pure ilaga experiment laga to see if I'm good at acting. I always did theatre, but I, you know, film acting is different from theatre acting. So I said, okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, I have nothing to lose. If film chase Malli, I'll go back to Bombay and continue looking for AD job and all. And I didn't. I was an assistant director for advertising at the time. So I did this film with uh, Sai Kiran sir. And to be honest, our cinema local only you could 10, 15 minutes role. It's a very small role, but for some reason I got recognized. Uh, whether it was the curly hair, the dimples, the big eyes. For some reason, everyone liked my face. And they called me back and they were like, Nitya, you have to come, you have to join the industry, you should do more films. And to be honest, it was that time, Nandri Nursing Home time, uh, which was my first lead role in the industry, um, that I actually realized that, okay, Naku e career chala uh, ishtamayindi and I want to do this and touch wood, I'm fairly good at it. Um, so that's when I decided that I'll make a career out of acting and I'm making the most of it for as long as I have, because I don't know how long I have um, here. Even in my mind, I didn't think about it. So my father is from the Navy, I uh, from a background, we grew, we grew up, it's a government life. And uh, so when you grow up, you grow up very practically, you know, you have very practical dreams, realistic dreams, and you always set goals that you can achieve. So I never really thought because we don't have any filmy background, don't have any godfathers in the industry, I don't have any kind of association with the film industry up until this point. So I didn't think about it at all, but I feel like uh, God has a hand on everything and I think this was just meant to be. I uh, fell in love with filmmaking in my college, in my post, in my degree. And so I did my post-graduation in filmmaking from uh, St. Xavier's Mumbai. And our time I was staying in Mumbai and one of my local guardians, her friend was an architect and his passion was photography. So our time low when I was to I used to keep going to their place to hang out, chill and college time low on the you have you keep saving money so you're happy to eat a free meal from anybody's house. <laughs> so our time low he had I met this new person and he said, you know my passion's photography, you're very pretty and all. Okay, funky or okay, photo shoot chay them. So I said, yeah, what do I have to lose? So I did a photo shoot with him in Bombay just for fun and my local guardian who was there, she had styled me and she had, you know, done my makeup and hair and given me all these pretty clothes to wear. And now life law, the first time I did a photo shoot and I did it and for fun, I put it up on Facebook and that's when people started noticing me and that was, those were the pictures that some managers noticed and called me here to uh, Hyderabad to do films. So yeah, that was, the, I guess, um, brought the opportunity into my life while a photo shoot. <laughs> and our debut film was Kerinta with Sai Kiran Adivi sir and even though it was a short experience, it was a very wonderful experience and I think uh, um, out of uh, so far all the directors I've had, I really connected with him. To my surprise, unlike other directors, he's very uh, quiet and calm and you know, it's very surprising to find a director like that. Kerin that time low, uh, sir had told me towards the end of the shoot, Nitya, you're very talented and we'll definitely work again in the future. And any director I never thought he'll actually come back to me and then three years later he calls me, 2000, uh, you know, 17, he's like, Nitya, where are you? Come, let's meet and we sit in Starbucks and he pitches me the script of OGF and I was just, I think from my first, um, 
first narration i was in love with the story i mean i can't reveal much but there's so many things i love about the story which i'll let you guys know soon and saikiran sir i find him a very creative person uh, i've heard many of his scripts many of his stories and one of his best things is he always has these twists that nobody expects in almost every one of his stories even the stories he's not made into films yet but we know many of us have heard so i think uh, he's a very talented director and i wish him all the best in a very uh, great and successful future <laughs> yeah, everyone asks me that because my dad's a forgy dad so forgy dads are on tender they are very protective they are very you know बट मन फैमिल एवरी वन चाल क्लोज एवरी वन टाक्स अबउट एवरी थिंग सिस्टर सो यू नो वेरी वेरी क्लोज फैमिल मन फैमिल वेन एवर दज लाइफ चेंजिंग डिजन मन अंदर कल सारी वील सिट वील डिस्कस द डिजन द लाइफ डिजन वी वॉन्ट टू मेक एंड वी आलवेज मेक इट टूगेदर um so when kerinta happened to be honest uh, nobody took it too seriously at that time mana mandiram bus we just did it for fun after that when my career got serious uh, i remember sitting down with my dad and i was like okay what's the plan ee career kavala vadda and all that stuff and i sat down with my family my mom my dad my sister me four of us sat and we took a family vote we took a family vote saying is everyone okay with this because i feel like it's not just an individual decision it's a family decision because everyone is involved in it some way or the other and everyone voted yes and i told my parents that there's only one condition i'll be in this industry is if you guys will be with me all the time because a okay, heroine ki uh, a okay, support system emotional support physical support i think it's very important to not just survive but to do well in the industry you really need that kind of backing from family from people you care about people like nijanga jab they no one has your back the your family has your back so i had decided that um, as long as they are with me i'm here so i told my dad anyone who has met my dad knows he's always with me sun lo rain lo bad weather good weather horrible conditions best conditions he's always by my side and shoot and uh, nenu chepanu dad the day you are tired and you can't do this anymore tell me because i can't do it without you um, but it's a it's a big help to have my family with me nenu uh, to myself actually when i joined this industry i made a promise i love me the way i am and i promised myself that i'll try my best not to change as much as possible because uh, you know when you enter like e industry is very different from the kind of life i've lived growing up uh, it was very simple very basic it is easy to get carried away it is easy to uh, you know shoot up like a rocket but um, i promise myself i'll always have my feet on the ground and my eyes to the sky so i've uh, i think i've kept my promise to myself and i've not changed that much but i love the industry um, see nijanga uh, chapte every industry key two sides to a coin for everything um but i am really lucky that i only have to deal with one side and my dad deals with the other so i survive very happily <laughs> i just deal with all the good things i do my creative part i en- thoroughly enjoy my job to have wonderful co-stars and like i said naaku filmy background ledu anduku all my filmy friends are uh, people i've worked with and then they've stayed my friends even after the projects and they've introduced me to their friends so they have become friends so i have been very lucky to make some really good uh, like you know uh, sweet people who are also honest and down to earth and not fake and stuff like that so in kerinta i made friends with uh, teju uh tejaswini madiwada and sumanta shwin and vishwant and till this day and nukraju of course who is my co-star in this film also and till this day we are all friends we all meet on birthdays and you know festivals and all that stuff and then uh, navin from nandini nursing home he's also being a really good friend of mine because of him i met um, saidaram tej and rashi and regina and we all kind of uh, spend our important occasions together and they're really really sweet people and uh, i really enjoy spending my time with them um and now in this film uh, you know it's not just my on screen crew but i feel like i i have a lot of friends from my off screen crew as well a lot of my ads and you know all the assistants the technical crew they all become like really good friends and i'm a very people's person okay cinema team is is a unit a unit has to work together to do anything well i feel like ogf's team has been one of the most uh, like sweetest loveliest people uh, that i know 
all uh, you know uh, Keshavanna, Chantiana, Mahiana, Maliana, so many people uh, on my team who are so sweet, so welcoming, so warm that you feel like coming to work the next day and it's not like oh work but you actually want to come to work you know. The backstage crew is just as important as your on-screen crew. On-screen crew ki kuda chemistry kawali, backstage you know back of the camera crew ki kuda chemistry kawali understanding undali. Your director and you have to have a chemistry so he knows exactly how to get the best work out of you. I've been lucky to work with directors like that, Saikar and Sir included, and your DOPs. I mean, the best chemistry has to be with the camera, of course. Uh, Sasha, Etter Foji girl. We've all seen her for like more than a year on TV, holding everywhere. She's puck out our brains totally. Uh, so when, when Saisa called me saying, Nitya, he calls me one day, he's like, I finalized the other girl. I'm like, okay, who's it, sir? He's like, uh, you know, the Etel girl. I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, that girl. I'm like, sir, but she has boy cut, sir. So then he's like, no, no, it's grown out now. She's very pretty. I'm like, okay, okay. So everyone's like, okay, this Bombay girl is coming and all that stuff. So. I'm not a Bombay girl particularly, but I've lived there for a very long time. Like I've lived there for 10 years. So I was like, chalo, I'll see some, somebody I can speak nice Hindi with and have fun. And uh, when I first met her, we met her for the first look shoot. She wasn't talking much and I was like, oh no, she's not talking. Okay, I think it's going to be one of those boring shoots where only I'll be talking and she'll be listening. And after the first schedule, oh my God, that girl doesn't stop talking. I thought Nook was the most talkative, but Sasha beat everybody to it, okay? and. She is just so sweet. She's a small ball of love, you know. I mean, I can't describe her any other way. She's the cutest, sweetest thing and I've really enjoyed because I have had to share a vanity with her for three months and I've loved it. I've loved every minute of it. You never get bored and she's so chilled out and she's so adjusting and I think I really made a, you know, like a sister from another mister kind of situation. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm for sure if I ever go back to Bombay, I'm going to stay with her and we're going to have play really good friends in the movie. So I've really enjoyed that. Since we had a lot of bonding off the camera, it was very easy to play, you know, roomies on camera. It was a very, you know, uh, lovely and fun experience. Aim acting, lay the aim, lay the whatever we are chilled out in the vanity is exactly that only we're doing in front of the camera. And crafts. And anyone who follows my social media, I, my stories will always be filled with something to do with arts when I'm not shooting. Um, so I'm not a great artist or anything, I can't paint like Picasso or anything like that, but I like making things. So I always learn new uh, modes of art to make things, like I recently learned pottery and I learned how to make things out of freehand clay. Then I learned stamp making and you know, so I learn all these techniques because I love making things. It's, I feel it's very therapeutic and peaceful and whenever it's an occasion, no matter how much money I earn and big I grow, when I give someone something, I, I feel it more personal when I give them something I made or, uh, you know, uh, something I wrote. So I still do that. I spend a lot of my free time, you know, um, recycling. So I make vases out of like wine bottles and things like that. I love dancing. Uh, it's been a lifelong passion. Again, I'm not a, the best at it, but it just makes me feel good. It's good for the soul. Um, I'm a bathroom singer. A uh, few people only know that. <laughs> so, so right now I have two of my films coming out. Uh, one is very proud to present OGF, uh, directed by Saikar and Arivi sir, which is hopefully releasing in the next month or two. And uh, another film of mine that's releasing at the same time is my Malayalam film, um, Ennalam Sharad, directed by Padma Shri award winning director Mr. Balachandra Menon. So I'm very excited for both these films. Uh, I have been lucky to work with directors who are very, very skilled and have given me the opportunity to play really good female characters which I appreciate them both for. So yeah, so these are my next two projects and the ones after that I shall, you know, break ke baad, I will reveal. <laughs> OGF, I remember asking Sai sir, sir, what genre will OGF come under? Like it's comedy, it's action, it's suspense, it's romance, like there's so many genres in our one film that you can't really put it under one bracket. So I feel like it's going to end up becoming a genre in itself. And if, if we achieve that, that's a very big accomplishment. Um, so it is a multifaceted film. It's going to be jam packed. You're not going to be bored for a second. Uh, whether it's a love story going on or it's action going on or it's something you're waiting to find out because there's a big question mark on your head. You know, there's always something happening and it's always entertaining. I feel like my entire crew and my cast have put in so much hard work and they've done such a good job making this film. I really, 
want you guys to watch it in theatres and enjoy watching it as much as we have enjoyed making it uh, because we really have, all of us. Nijanga Chappal, uh, I've joined the industry very recently, so I started watching Telugu films very recently. So I love Mahesh Babu films and I love Nani's films because he came from, you know, nowhere and, you know, um, I love Nagarjuna sir's films and there's so many films that I love. But Heroines Low, I have a favourite because uh, Telugu cinema, lo, the first film I ever watched in Telugu was Arundhati uh, by Anushka. And I fell in love with her. I was just like, wow, like such a, at that time only, there was such a powerful, you know, female lead and she acted so well. And after Bahubali and all that, I mean, she's just gotten 10 times better. So I was a big fan of Anushka from the beginning, even before I moved to Hyderabad, you know. Um, so I would say Anushka. Can I say Saikir and Nadivi? <laughs> uh, but no, like I said, I only started watching, so I also love uh, Trivikram Garusa's, um, Movies, I like uh, Rajmouli sir's movies and I'm still exploring my, you know, directors and movies and languages. So I think I'm going to go with Arundhati because uh, it was the first ever Telugu movie I watched and it'll always be very close to my heart. A and uh, personal favourite and then I epic films, Charleston, period films, you know, like of kings and queens and stuff like that. So my father keep two girls. Unai. He doesn't have any boys, so he raised us like boys. Uh, whether it was run, running around the army co obstacle course on my knees, bruised elbows, running up and down, playing all kinds of sports. So my sister and I have grown up watching a lot of action movies. So for some weird reason, um, action comedy has been one of my favourites. So like for example, all the Marvel films, I'm like the first one sitting there, first day for show. Um, so like I'm a total tomboy like that. My favourite, uh, I was the biggest Harry Potter fan like around me, you know. So I was big time on fantasy and fiction and you know the supernatural. What I love about this industry also, film, books, uh, this entire world that I have had the absolute privilege of being a part of is I love the fact that you can be anyone, go anywhere, do anything. There's such a magic in it. And I guess I may not have wished to be an actor, but I used to always love disappearing into another world, you know, where the laws of physics of our world doesn't apply. So that way, I really, uh, I love my job. I'm allowed to be a different person every six months. <laughs> I've actually started listening to a lot of Tamil music recently. I don't understand much of the words, the lyrics, but I feel like music has no language and that is the best part about it. And I've really started to like uh, Anirudh's uh, music. He's a music composer and I start really, really uh, love his song. Please watch our film in theatres this August. Do not support piracy and come support us. Show us all your love and watch the movie in theatres near you. What is this video? Please like this video. Please comment. Please subscribe to our videos.